Hi guys, part three. So we're going to be talking about animals and speech. Animals and speech. James has already spoken about, and I think it was in episode one, about animals and speech, and that he could communicate with animals via the mind, via the third eye, via touch. That if you talk to an animal, an animal can talk back to you in your head. It's like telepathy. He's also hinted that in future... I remember, I once had a dog years ago, and I'm sure she used to try and talk to you over the jaw. You'd say something to her and she, you could see it. You know when a human goes to talk, the, the, the facial muscle, muscles, muscles, she'd do the same. And he has said that in future, animals will have a voice like we have. Um, very similar to what budgies can do now. He's saying, actually, they already have it. It's just, it's been dumbed down. He said people make a big thing about birds and budgies that can talk. He says, but actually all animals have the potential to talk. It's like we have the potential to do many things for ourselves, but we've dumbed it down for various reasons. And we're now having to fire it back up again. Third eye, chakra systems, healing, self-healing, um, which is why our bodies are doing what they're doing at the minute. It's the same for animals. Animals actually were born able to talk but they came into this earthly frequency and it stopped them being able to talk if that makes sense Ooh. he's actually talking but he's asking me to go back to what i said in the previous video about um let me be, let me be careful how i say this we talked about um veterinary medication and his concerns about some of it and he's saying that some of that some of that stuff that they use is actually harming the animals energetically, a bit like with humans, etc. But I can't go too far into that on here. Sorry. <laughs> um, animals and speech. Animals and speech. You must talk to your animals. He's saying, whether you're a farmer, whether you're a horse rider, he said, talk to your animal. Good morning. He's actually saying something. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hello. Thank you. I love you. And I, I feel a bit false saying it because I've not got an animal in front of me. But talk to your animals. Not not like this. Hiya kitty kitty kitty. Not he hate. He said he used to, he said he used to hate that. He used to he said he's actually laughing, so he used to hate that. Come here, kitty, 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 kitty. It's all again, it's that patronising. He's showing me a woman that used to come to his practice that was quite a stern woman. He said, but boy, did she know how to look after animals. He said she was a spinster and she was very stern. He says, we were all scared of her and he's laughing. And she'd come in and she'd talk. Not like it was a child, because again, that's patronising, but she'd just talk to her cat. He said she had two. She'd bring in, I don't know, is it a tabby? And she's also got a little white cat, a little kitten that she brought in at some point. Um, but she would talk. Come on, come on. What was his name? What was his name? What, was his name? what did she call him? Come on, Jacob. Come on, Jacob. You could do this, Jacob. And she used to have a real. And he said it was an amazing. And that cat, she had it to a T. And he's actually said it was one of the best behaved cats he's ever come across because he was treated as an animal. But it was also, she had the way she knew how to talk to him. Really interesting. Interesting. So animals and speech, animals and speech. He said it'll be over the next hundred years. God, the card that's just come out. I love this deck and guess what? I very rarely use it. The card that's just come out. I know sometimes the focus doesn't work. I'm a healer. A reader, I'm not the cameraman. Um, I'll read it to you. Light language. <sighs> Sorry, itching nose again. My nose is going again. Itching. Purity, look at that. Oh my god. Blessing behind, be, beyond the soul path. Honouring your life. Exchange joy without karma or sacrifice. He's saying that's animals. Animals don't have karma. He says animals don't have karma. Um, he says we will get there eventually, but we've got a long way to go. A long way to go. He says humans have a long way to go. He says we don't realise how long 
we've got to be at this job called life, this earth school. Um, he says, watch the animals and learn from the animals. Universal light language, they can do light language. They're talking amongst each other. He's saying they're talking amongst each other. Whirr. There's actually, <laughs> I was trying to sound like a cow then. Woof, woof, meow, meow. It's when they're talking to each other, they're actually in that meow, meow, whirr. woof, woof, that kind of thing. There's light language that the other animals can hear. Okay, the other animals can hear. But eventually when we're listening to meow, we'll also start hearing the odd word there. And you'll find yourself going and going, sure, they've just said hello. And you may be laughing at me now thinking she's been tripping out. I'm not been tripping out, but I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. Okay? Light language. They can do light language. I did mention in, in video one that they have a galactic heritage and purity. Yeah. Ayo, you are pure, open, spiritual eyes. Unicorn energy as well. We're going to start seeing unicorns. Oh, he's talking about unicorns now. What's he talking about unicorns for? He says the earth became quite... He said he was he once incarnated during the times of unicorns. And he actually had unicorns. He looked after unicorns. This isn't as James Harriet. He actually had unicorns. And he, oh, he's saying they were eradicated via a disease that came. Um, because the earth got too harsh for them. And he says, we mustn't let that happen again with other species. He says, unicorns existed and were a species of animal, just like horses, everything. But their frequency was so high, even higher than the animals that we've got now, that they couldn't cope with the earth and something came in to eradicate them. He says, but they are going to come back. They're going to come back. And he's showing me, um, I mean, he's showing me horses, because obviously, you know, Horses that are going to be born over the next hundred years that start having little lumps here. You like where the unicorn thing is going to come out? There's obviously a name for it, not a unicorn thing. And he's showing me about vets that are going. I mean, look at these. Do you know, I set up, I put brown and green and earthy crystals all on my table here on my altar. And he asked me to put this on. And I was like, why are you putting that on? Because I just didn't resonate with this with James Herriot with the, with the veterinary. If that makes sense. I've got green and brown crystals. I've got this as well, you know trees and earth and stuff it's the unicorn he worked with unicorns and they're coming back and look at that the unicorns are coming back they're already here energetically but they're going to start coming back in physical form he's showing me a whole wave of unicorns that are going to come in with a whole wave of children the unicorn children Oh, we've got some magical, excuse me. When I'm doing chilling work, a burp a lot. I've said this before, but now. Um, we've got some really beautiful, magical times coming. We've got some, I know right now it's crazy days out there at the minute, but the crazy days are gonna come before when these magical times are coming. And he said they're all, they're brewing every day. And he's showing me a work like the, the new earth that people so, don't get catty Claire. <laughs> some teachers out there think the flip between it, you know, like I, I can be watching somebody once and she said she was already that we we're gonna get physically taken off this earth and put on another one. That's not gonna happen. He's showing me the new earth that is already there formed. It's not the physical, it will be on this physical earth, but energetically it's already formed. And he said it's just absolutely amazing. It's got less humans on it. It's got less humans. It's got more animals, unicorns, mermaids. All the little elementals are coming out and it's the right people will be on this new earth. The right people. Um, he says there'll be, need, there'll be less need for reincarnation. He said, please make it clear this isn't about punishment because there's that teaching out there as well that, well, if you're naughty, you won't. only the good ones like us that connect to our higher selves all the time are going to get onto new earth. He said, it's not that. It's that actually we won't need to reincarnate as much and we won't need to have as much reincarnation. People will literally just come down in small groups to earth, experience the new earth, the new energy, and then they'll go back. He says, there won't be long lives neither. He says time will be very different. Time will, time will go very different. It's already starting now. Time is going quicker. 
Wow. Thank you. Right, what are we going on to next, James? Reiki and animals. He is all over Reiki and animals. He said, if you've got pets, get yourself Reiki attuned. I don't attune to Reiki. I am Reiki attuned, but I don't tune people. Get yourself attuned to Reiki. All you need to do is you're like Reiki level one. And if that's the only investment you have in your animal, big cost, rather than taking them to pooch cafes and kitty cafes, which we've spoken about, get yourself a child. He said it can help with illness, it can help with stress, it can help with their past lives that they've had, it can help with bonfire night as well. He says, again, we don't know how to deal with bonfire night. Again, he came from a different era where we didn't have the boom, 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 bonfire night. Um, he says that can easily be remedied by doing Reiki and having the correct crystals in your home. Talking about bonfire night, what can you do for that? Can you tell them what they can do for that, please? What time are we on? What can you do for that, James? He's saying music. He said, we must stay calm as well because animals are like children. If we get tensed up, they get tensed up. If we get angry about it, they get angry. They're really in tune with other animals, like literally. I remember when I once had swine flu, when swine flu were about, like my dog did not leave my side. It was weird. And she was so spiritual, that dog, it was as all dogs are. Um, they can sense you getting and going through so much. He's saying relaxing music. Um, putting on gentle, like you would for a Reiki session, you go onto YouTube, put in meditative music, don't have it blasting out, but just have it out. He said, you, you know, using Reiki, and it's not kind of Reiki, like, oh, I don't want you to count, it's just Reiki, empowerment, he says about empowerment. He says it actually doesn't take much to calm an animal down. If the person calming the animal down is calm, um, Oh, interesting. Animals and Reiki. He said every vet should be attuned to Reiki. Um, every vet should be attuned to Reiki. Every vet should be should be taught holistic therapies for animal care. Um, the need for holistic care. Because as animals go through this awakening, he's saying they're going to need it more and more. The old ways of doing things. And when he says the old ways, he means the... There you go, sir, go by your, yeah, that kind of thing. That's going, that's like it is for us. That's going. Animals and Reiki, James. Could I have one card, please? Oh, animals and Reiki. Blue, oh, galactics again. Blue ray being, direct divine expression, bridge between dimensions. Animals need Reiki. There's something about Reiki and animals here. Heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. The best thing you can do. Nose is off again. Must be onto something. Is to get yourself attuned to Reiki. If you can't do it yourself, or maybe you don't want to do it yourself, or maybe you don't feel well enough to do it yourself, then get somebody in to do it for you. Um, heaven on earth. We are invited. Fifth dimension. New earth. Spirit in matter. Spirit in matter. Animals need their heritage respected. So it's, it's actually saying that Reiki is like a food to them. He didn't realise this until he went over there. Um, actually, do you know sometimes you actually Reiki your horse? You can actually, when you put your your hands on the horse, it actually vibrates. You can actually see the energy vibrating in the horse. I can't. I can't. You can see the horse, its body waves, it like, Google it on YouTube. And you can see them, you can see it as the body, it was weird. You actually get more, I actually think you get more of a powerful reaction from an animal, doing an Reiki to an animal than you do a human. I've been around dogs and dogs and stuff and cats sometimes can chase me. <laughs> Not chase me, follow me. I got an issue, I get to get scared of cats. Um, and I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. There's no need to be scared. I know there is, and it's an issue. Um, just something you pick up from childhood, etc. And I get followed. If I go somewhere and there's someone got a cat that follows me, and I remember once there was a pregnant cat that followed me, and I got a bit freaked by it, and I wish I'd just stopped. I did actually send her the Reiki, but I sent her at a distance. 
but she was pregnant and she just needed and she just sat outside my bedroom as well and I was a bit freaked out because I was where I was at the time and all she needed was the raking all I needed to do was just sit there and go like that but actually when I've done it with dogs and stuff and when I've I mean, I, I, I was once walking down Amble at the harbour and there was a bird that had had its leg damaged and it literally couldn't walk. And I just stood there and I didn't touch it. I just stood there and had beam drake at this bird. And within seconds, the bird went from limping. It shook its <laughs> like that, like they do, like that. Put its foot down, flapped its wings to ground the energy in. I shit you not flapped its wings and it went and it was flying around and it was bouncing on it and it was literally lame that's how quickly and actually it will he's saying it works quicker with animals because of their frequency animals are on a different frequency you get a human and they don't so a lot of humans don't believe it or they may be De debbie doubters or doubting thomases and there's all sorts of trauma and they're more earthly based uh, on humans whereas animals they're more they're more this. They're more dimensional than we are, if that makes sense. So actually, a Reiki works best with animals, I think, and I've seen it myself, and it works quicker. If you'd have done that on a lame person that had their leg damaged, you'd have had to do a, you know, a session after session after session. If somebody had come in with a broken leg and said, Claire, heal my leg now, I'd have said, right, oof, you know, with a bird, it was literally, and it was that, and I've seen that in other cases as well. Um, and as well, like lame birds will come. In my old house, we, used to, we went through a weird, whippy, weird time where there was lots of lame birds around us, and they would come into our garden, and they'd come up to me. I once opened the door, and there was a rat limping. I think it'd been poisoned, and it was. And it, I actually opened the door. Shit, you not. I opened the door, and I'm like, oh, rat, and it looked at me, and it says, "I'm dying, help." And I remember that with the with not obviously not, not the physical voice. And I actually raked it and we actually helped to send it over. So, again, you probably wouldn't get that with a person. A person that's dying is not going to say, I'm dying, give me reiki. They're just not going to say, I'm dying, give me gas and air or something like that. Or whatever people need when they're dying, CPR, that kind of thing. Um, yes. Are we enjoying this? Let me know in the comments. Are we enjoying He says he can talk about this forever, reiki and animal care. So if you've got pets, get yourself reiki attuned. Right, what time are we on the camera? We've got the cost of living to talk about animals and ascension and dog crime. He wants to talk about dog crime. He's going to be vocal on that, I tell thee. The option's coming out now, I tell thee. Um, let's pull another card from this deck on animals and Reiki. Oops, animals and Reiki. The hooded man. A lot of the older generation aren't going to do it. And he's actually saying that he would have probably struggled to do it. When you're older, you're just not as perceptive to these kind of things. Not everyone, not, not judging older people. Um, oh, God, that, again, waters of life. But he's, let, me, let me show you the cards. A lot of the newly qualified ones are going to be doing it. A lot of the younger ones are going to be doing it. He said, well, you, for although they're not getting trained the best way he feels, the more holistic way, they know this as well. And they're going to start looking into more holistic things themselves because they're going to start realising it's not working as well as it should be, as in the, the, the methods they're using now. Um, but it'll take some time getting off the ground because there's still a lot to be had with writing something and giving it, yeah. It'll take some time, but we'll get there. And he's saying, any of you that are watching that are into your animals, into your holistic care, get into your circles, get into your groups online and get pumping this. And when you get talking to your vets as well, he said, get talking, not going in and preaching and telling them, you should be doing Reiki, but talking to them about it, talking to them about it. He said, that can be really hard. It's like going into your doctor and talking about Reiki. It can be really, but he says, the only way we're going to do it is if we get talking about it and we make it the norm. He says, make it the norm. He says, if you'd have come into my practice and I've gone about, whoop, and looked at it as though you were a bit like, whoa, okay. But he said, I would have listened and I would have taken it on board. 
And he says, because then you talk about it, then they come across somebody else that talks about it, then they see it online and it grows from small seeds to big acorns, to big acorn trees grow. Okay, to big oak trees grow. And we've got one there, we've got a big tree. We've got trees. Oh, what a nice reading. Oh. It's been, been lovely. We've still got a long way to go. Right, so see you in the next one. Bye.